What's up everybody and welcome back to another SAT video from the Scalar Learning Channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the current state of affairs with the SAT amid the coronavirus pandemic. There are still a lot of unknowns in terms of what's going to transpire and how the testing is all going to come about. So I wanted to put together all the updates in one short video to give you a heads up on what to expect. Just a quick recap, the March SAT, which was not actually officially canceled, was administered sporadically throughout the United States. Thereafter, the College Board completely canceled the May test date. While at this time, the June SAT is still scheduled to take place, according to Akil Bello, the former Director of Equity and Access for the Princeton Review, the June SAT date is likely to be canceled within the next few days, but we'll see what happens. Just to give you some context, last year, approximately 400,000 students took the SAT in May, and another 350,000 took the SAT in June. This, of course, means a major disruption in the schedule of students who are trying to take this test to apply to colleges. So what's the College Board doing about these cancellations and potentially more cancellations that are coming down the line? Many states and schools across the country are trying to reschedule those in-school test dates that have been canceled. Moreover, the College Board still plans to expand Saturday testing as the health situation allows. Another interesting update is that David Coleman, the chief executive at the College Board, has stated that there may be an at-home version of the SAT if schools are indeed out this fall. The College Board has been working on an at-home version of the SAT for some time, but they just have not yet released any details as to when it will be released. So this could be an interesting twist for a lot of students. At this current time, I just don't think there's enough information to know if indeed schools will be out this fall. I'm trying to stay positive and, and I'm going to assume that they'll be back in full swing by then but we shall see. Because the timetable for applications to schools has been so disrupted, a number of schools have made the SAT an optional part of the application. Some of these schools include Vassar, Amherst, and Haverford. Other notable schools include Boston University and all of the University of California schools. If indeed the June test is canceled, we may very well see more schools jump on the bandwagon. What does this mean for you? In my opinion, it seems as though something will work out in terms of either additional test dates once the crisis has subsided or an at-home version that you will be able to take starting perhaps in the fall or late fall. If you're in a situation where all the schools you're applying to has already removed this restriction, you've got some thinking to do, but my personal opinion is I would prepare and take the SAT no matter what. The reason why is even in that case where you are applying solely to schools who have waived that requirement, you at least have a score that you can choose to deploy if it's a really positive outcome. If it's not, fair enough, but at least you've given yourself the option. If you are, of course, applying to any of the other schools that have kept the requirement in place, well, then you will indeed need the SAT. For those of you who are self-motivated and using online resources well, this is an opportunity. If you stay on track, keep a regimented schedule, and shine on the SAT, it will be that much more powerful for your college applications. So that's my advice, that's my opinion, and I wish you the best of luck. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.